Hey, what's up, everybody? Merry Christmas, man. Uh, happy holidays to all. Um, I actually thought that I was just going to um, not do any Christmas reactions, you know, because I'm not a big fan of uh, Christmas music. Not really. After a while, it wears on me, especially if it's one Christmas carol playing after another. You know, I got my exceptions. Uh, my favorite Christmas carol is uh, The Little Drummer Boy, and I really dig the uh, Charlie Brown Christmas music and the Christmas show. But, uh, you know, uh, a, a little bit too often, I um, get annoyed by Christmas music and I have to uh, switch to something else. But there are exceptions to the rule, and this is one of those exceptions, man. I want to introduce you guys, if you don't know this song already, to Chris Rhea. And he's got a song called Driving Home for Christmas, and it's a fantastic song, man. It went out of my mind right up until today. Right now, as we speak, my... Uh Um, a couple of our friends, they're coming up. And uh, so right now, Paul is on the road. And he was saying to me, yeah, man, it's snowing like crazy. And uh, I'm just past Seattle, so I'm uh, another uh, two hours away. So that gives me a little space to do a reaction. And so he mentioned um, uh, Driving Home for Christmas. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, great song. Uh, he goes, do you know Chris Rhea? And I'm like, oh, my gosh, you know, it's funny because yesterday... I did a Chris Rhea reaction, and it's actually posted on the Beyond platform. So you know what? Uh, while that's fresh in everyone's mind who has seen Chris Rhea, I'm going to actually uh, do another follow-up reaction on Christmas Day too. you know, driving home for Christmas. So that's where it's at. So what's going to happen here, man? Um, we're going to check out his uh, video of the song, and then uh, after that, there is a story behind how he came about writing that song so i'm not going to do any reading if you guys want me to uh if you guys want to see me do a little bit of a reading artist bio i'm going to link in the description the reaction that i did yesterday for chris ria uh, uh, artist um spotlight so shout out to you by the way uh charles hogue charles brought that to my attention yesterday introducing uh, me officially to chris ria i uh i know this song but I forgot about it, you know, it's like a yearly thing. But perfectly fitted for today. So, let's do a back-to-back -back of the song and then how it was made. Chris Rhea. Let's get it. Merry Christmas. Take a look at the driving 
next to me He's just the same Just the same What's your favorite Christmas carol? And what's your favorite Christmas song? Outside of the Christmas carol This is up there for me as well. So this is Christmas. Top to toe in tailbacks Oh, I got red lights all around I'm driving home for Christmas, yeah Get my feet on holy ground I got a split screen showing um, With a thousand memories. dense, dense snow. Take a look at the it's kind of like what Paul is facing right now. He's just the same. Christmas can become the season of stress and traffic jams. Then suddenly it can all lift and you see the festive way ahead when a song comes on that sums up what it's really all about. I'm driving home for Christmas. It's about dropping everything for two weeks and still oh, yeah. Christmas. Chris Rears driving home for Christmas is a seasonal standard, but it could almost have been his swan song. He began writing the track whilst he was working here at Abbey Road Studios, trying hard to emulate the success of his chart hit, Fool If You Think It's Over. His wife, Joan, drove down from their home in Middlesbrough to pick him up for the Christmas break. My career at that point was really on the floor. Uh, I'd ceased to become the pop star that the record companies wanted me to be, and I was about to be dropped. So it was pretty ropey. When we left Abbey Road that night, uh, we had been discussing opening an Italian restaurant and leaving the music business. And we started to drive home. It was snowing when we left Abbey Road. And we were young, we were in love. I just felt happy. I thought it's stuff that's happening with the career. It's Christmas. There was a little tune in my head which was just felt Christmassy, you know. driving home for Christmas and I do silly things like uh, wind the window down with the lights and wish this person here happy Christmas. I just scribbled the lyrics down just so I don't, f I always do that, you know, back of a fag packet, that kind of thing. We eventually got home about half past five in the morning. What I always remember was when we opened the door of, of the, um, the house that we just about to lose the mortgage on. The snow fell in the hall and didn't melt. <laughs> it was that cold. And there was one letter on the floor. And I opened it, and it was the PRS statement for Fool If You Think It's Over in America. Those are your writing royalties, right? Yeah, and I passed it to Jo. She was having to check the notes, and it was just a Christmas story, you know? It was like... I just said to her, well, we're going to have the big tree then. With a thousand memories. That part of the lyric I love is, and a thousand memories, why is coming home so important for you? At that point in time, it was huge because I was a very happy person in Middlesbrough. 
We were Irish-Italians, total family, there was nine of us. Christmas was huge. Christmas was more special then. I always loved coming down about four o'clock in the morning and it would be icy wastes or snow outside and the fire was still on. It's magic. It is it's magical. The unexpected royalties check helped turn things around for Chris. And a few years later, with his career on the rise again, he came back here to Abbey Road to record his Christmas classic. That famous well, classic. The wonderful magic of this song is, this is where I got the first idea. And also, years later, when you became successful, this is where the strings were. How do you feel about that song now when you hear it? I went through a period of being cynical. I went through a terror of, with all my illnesses, uh, I didn't, I couldn't go there. You know, it used to make me depressed. You know, I'd think of a time when I wasn't ill. I quite like it now. Oh, you can hear me when I get through. It's one of those silly moments, and I think we all, we all get silly at Christmas. I'm driving home for Christmas. It's got to be your top five Christmas songs, Oh, that's isn't a brilliant it? song. Okay. All right, y'all. There you go. An introduction for some of you. If you've not heard this song, what a great, great Christmas song. And already, it's, uh, for me, up there as one of my favorite uh, Christmas songs. Non-Christmas non Carol Christmas songs, you know? Of course, I've got a couple. I'm thinking of John Lennon's uh, So This Is Christmas. Uh, Paul McCartney, he's got uh, Simply Having a Wonderful Christmas Time. And there's a whole host of others, you know? So if I'm at a party, like I'm going to be a little bit later, um, and it's just one Christmas song after another, I sometimes zone out. But then there's always that one that's really, really interesting and very different, and you uh, you embrace that one, and you're like, yeah, hey, I remember this one. I really like this one. It's from so-and-such an artist or whatever. But there's a lot of uh, celebrities uh, who do Christmas covers, and they... Uh, do their own Christmas songs and I guess Christmas songs are a really really big commodity and so if you are uh, if you are an artist uh, if you're a notable celebrity and you uh, do a Christmas song it's almost guaranteed success it seems yeah it's funny enough I haven't really been that big on Christmas songs but there are a couple exceptions this one is one let me know what your favorite Christmas song is. Uh, let me know what your favorite Christmas carol is. If you know why that is, if you've got a great memory attached, let me know that too, man. That'd be cool. Um, so where Chris Rhea is concerned, yeah, uh, I'm going to link in the description um, his uh, bio. It's uh, on the Beyond platform, but uh, he's one of those artists that has a really great background in uh, blues. He's got a jazzy um, uh, past as well. You know, he can do the folk rock thing. He's got a voice signature that he can literally embrace almost any kind of genre and uh, do very well. A great crossing over artist, if you will. But yeah, man, this Christmas song, definitely I've got all the time in the world for it. Hope you liked it too. So that is my uh, Merry Christmas uh, to you guys. And uh, Paul, brother, Nice and steady on the road. Don't be uh, don't be in a hurry for anything. And uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, um, I uploaded uh, two Led Zeppelin um, reactions that just all of a sudden got unblocked in the last week. Um, I'd say over a dozen Led Zeppelin songs that were blocked are unblocked. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to bombard you with all of them because I really got it bad last time. Oh, too much Led Zeppelin, too much Led Zeppelin. So I'll spread it out. I am in a hurry to kind of get it out there because um, I waited too long the last time and then a lot of them got blocked again. So I do want to get them out to you guys fast, especially if there's a lot of people that just don't migrate to uh, other platforms that I'm on for some reason. They just stick to YouTube. And so they'll never see those reactions. So I'd like to actually um, uh, publish those as soon as I can. So every couple of days, you'll see one being uh, published that you might not have seen if you don't visit the other platforms I'm on. Anyways, y'all, Merry Christmas. Have a safe holiday. Lots of snow on the road. Watch your driving if you have to drive at all. And, um, well, I'm not drunk yet, but I'm definitely on my way and I'm not 
I'm not going anywhere. So it's going to really be a great holiday. So have yourselves a good one. And um, I'll probably be doing something in the next couple of days aside from my regular reactions. I'm just not sure what that is yet. Uh, maybe some sort of a uh, a, a bootleg concert or something like that. So uh, we'll see. I'm getting some recommendations uh, coming in. So we'll see what goes. But anyways, for now, Merry Christmas. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.